morning, everyone, and welcome to Measure Up Angling. I'm Joe Nett. This is my nephew, Colin O'Brien. Yes, sir. We're going to go after school stripers today, and we're going after numbers. I've got my uh, clicker with me so that we get an accurate count. We'll see how many we can catch. Uh, you know, I'm sure we'll catch some smallmouth and maybe, who knows, maybe even a keeper striper today. You never know. But today the goal is numbers. Well, how many do you think we'll catch today? I think we'll probably catch somewhere around 30. That is my estimate. You know what? That's a pretty good estimate. I was thinking about the same thing. 30, 35 fish. But you never know. If we hit them good, we could get 50, 60. Back in the day, we used to catch 104 hours. Crazy. So we're going to get after them. Come along. Check it out. Let's do it. Told you they'd be here. Woo, woo. Look at them go. <laughs> oh, he ate it too. That's not a bad one. Schooly, 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 number one. I don't think we've been fishing in five minutes. Ah, we're going to have fast thumb today. Yeah, he, he ate it. He's just got buddies. Him. He's not a school. <laughs> I don't know if that's the fish that, that creamed me or not, but small mouth on the board. They hook up and they run right out of the hole. Drop them. Dude, what is going right to the noggin too? Yeah, try and land them right in front of the there you go. Oh! <laughs> what the hell man? That's the second one. Can't count that one. Dude. I'm giving them everything I have. Yeah, I know. I know. I look, I don't know what's going on today.
Uh, there we go. Yep, nice. And off he goes. There you go. Yeah. All right. There we go. Woo. Okay, now we gotta go back up there and do it again. It's fighting like a small mouth. And it, it's a small mouth. It's a smallie, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was silver when I first saw him roll over too, but no, oh, small mouth. Yeah, he's pale, all right. It would take a few minutes to explain exactly what we're doing to catch these school stripers. You might have noticed in the video that Colin and I were casting at the bank quite a bit. Uh, first thing in the morning, those fish are up against the bank and they're feeding. What they're feeding on is spot tail shiners and they tend to be right up against the bank. And they can be in a sandy area. There doesn't have to be a lot of structure. If you notice, there was a lot of log jams and stuff creating current breaks. There was actually a lot of sand below them. And the spot tails really like the sand. Even though they call stripers rockfish, they'll get out over the sand if that's where their prey is. So later in the day, as the sun rose, those fish broke from the bank and headed for deep water. That's when we started going deeper and catching them a lot deeper. The weight of your jig depends on the depth that you're fishing and how fast the current is. Uh, down south, you're dealing with tides, so sometimes the, the current is flat, so you can get away with a much lighter jig. Up here, the water's always moving, so we usually go with about a 3 8 ounce, sometimes a little heavier, depending on how high the water is. Down south, have a variety, because you may have to change once that current starts to pull. And actually that's what you want. You want a pulling tide, you want current. They bite so much better when there's moving water than when it's flat. So watch the tide and plan your trip by it. I usually want to keep a variety of jigs, jig sizes, quarter ounce to almost three quarter ounce, depending on, like I said, depth and current. I try to stay big on the hook, usually four to five ot, because I don't want to hook these fish bad. I don't want to try to pull it out of their throat. Those bigger hooks are harder for them to swallow. They'll still take them full, they'll still hit them good, but you won't hook the fish bad. If it's easier to get that fish off, you'll be back in the water that much quicker and catching another one. Might have found them, see? Just look for deeper water. You know, it's that bright sunshine and the, and the water clarity that's probably the key to this. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Let's get this release. Okay, first let's talk about body shape and size. Uh, there's a tube, a grub, swim bait, and a fluke or finesse fish. Um, these are pretty much the standard shapes that we use. And three to five inches is the size. Of course, the smaller you go, the easier it is for these fish to swallow the bait. So I tend to stick right around four inches. Uh, five inches will pull off bigger fish and eliminate some of those very small stripers. Uh, color is actually extremely important. When the water is really muddy, sartreuse, pink, and white are, are definitely the way to go. You really can't get away with a natural color. Just can't see it, so you got to throw them something that they can see. When the water starts to clear, you know, it's dingy, but it's not, not quite crystal clear. you got to throw them something that's 
still got some color to it, but not as in your face bright as pink and sartreuse and some of the other colors that you would use in the mud. But they still have to see it. When the water clears, it's time to throw more natural colors and things with a lot of fleck. Uh, something that reflects the sun, something that they can still see from a distance, but it definitely looks looks more like a bait fish. Can you, can you get the net actually? Yeah, we can get the net. That's a big small one. Oh, oh my gosh. He's huge. Wow! Yeah, there you go, baby. Wow! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my gosh, let me pop this thing out. Barely hooked. Barely hooked in the inside jaw. Pop! Alright, let me swing the boat so we can get him in the sun. Hold on. That's a giant! Yeah, that, that's a sweet fish right there. It's a little banged up, but that's from migrating upriver to go spawn, so. And the scars of old age. Yeah, sweet fish. All right, here we go. Come on, give me some. Give me some, big mama. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. That was sweet. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's locked up pretty tight. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. All right, hold on one second. Yeah! All right, this is what the Connecticut River's all about. That's a double, two different species, both quality fish. You gotta love this. Okay, so we're calling it quits for our uh, school striper day. Not as successful as we wanted. We were guesstimating 30. How many did we get? 20 on the nose. 20 schools. on the nose. But here's the deal. We got the bonus smallmouth. We had to catch a dozen smallmouth today. So we caught over 30 fish. So thumbs up, but we didn't get the 30 schoolies that we wanted. If you notice, we got high blue skies. Water's cleared up a lot. Uh, it's been cloudy and rainy the last three, four days that we've been doing really, really well with the schoolies. But you know what? Banner day anyway. We had a great time. We got big smallmouth. We got a bunch of schoolies. 20 isn't, isn't anything to, uh, you know, shake your head at. Is that the term? Yeah. That's shake, the a <laughs> shake a stick at. Shake a stick at. Shake a stick at. So, hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, baby. Oh, click, click, 17.